Hi everybody, it's Claire back with another art journal video. So today I'm playing in the craft journal again and I'm just working on a single page spread and I am using the uh, mask set called Growing Masks which is from Dina Wakely Media. I'm starting off by adding some blackberry and uh, fuchsia onto the page, just brushing it straight on, there's no gesso on there at all. Um, and as you can see, trying really hard to leave some <laughs> space around the colours. And um, then that was Heather that I added in as well, but the, um, the background wasn't dry, so it kind of did blend, which was okay. It worked quite quite nicely. Um, then I did the method where you use a baby wipe through a stencil, and I used it using the lattice stencil, which is also from Dina Wakely. So then I decided that I would actually stencil through the stencil as well, Again, just um, building up the layers, and I used again the heather paint there uh, with the blending tool. And then I'm going in again using Blackberry, and again the same stencil, and using the same one again, and using fuchsia. So just building up those layers of colour and interest. And really, I've only used one stencil there, and it's quite an interesting background. Um, then this stamp is from the um, Stencil Alpha set. And I'm just using that with some black archival ink, sorry, can't speak, and just stamping it onto the background just to create some more interest. And um, again, I'm just using the more textured stamp in that set as well and just stamping that in some places. Not using the whole stamp, just kind of bending it and using a little bit. Then I'm adding in some collage tissue paper. So this is one of my favourite ones really, and it's quite an old one, but um, again, it's from Dina Wakely Media. And... Um, I think it's because it's, it's got circles on it and that's why I like it so much. Um, so I've just added that in a few places. And then I'm just adding some of this text collage tissue paper on there too. It's got quite large writing on it. So I'm just using some small pieces. And really that is just about breaking up that background and um, just sort of adding some more elements onto there too. And then I'm going to use uh, this uh, stencil a mask set which is called Growing Masks and um, I'm using it with Night. This is one of my favourite dark colours. Um, it works so well with just about all of the colours um, and it isn't quite as harsh as black um, and I find it is quite, um, I don't know, it's so pigmented but it's really, it's a really pretty colour and it mixes so nicely with so many colours too. Um, so I've just used that with the masks and um, done a bit of reductive stenciling there and just kind of got rid of a lot of the background. So you've got the little pop of colour showing through. And then it, when it was really, really dry, using my Signo Uniball, and I'm just outlining those uh, shapes and um, just to help pop them out from the background. And then I'm using my Signo Uniball, I'm just adding some dots onto the little looks like a little pom-pom flower it's really cute um adding some dots onto there and then just kind of going around and adding a bit more interest um some lines onto that middle flower and some more dots to match onto the flower on the left hand side then i decided i would uh, use some colored posca pens so this is like a turquoisey blue color it's really i think it's called aqua blue or something like that it's really pretty and then again the purple. So I'm kind of using colours in the similar theme, apart from the turquoise, I guess there isn't any turquoise in there. Um, but they colours that are quite harmonious together and work nicely. And then I'm just introducing some more of that white as well, which marries up with the white that I use to outline the flowers. And then because, obviously, you know, sometimes I just do not know when to stop. I decided I would add some more flowers. So I'm using the blackberry and I'm adding them over the top of the colours that were already there and the interest that was already there. And um, then added in a bit of heather because I felt they needed to be a little bit lighter. That worked, didn't it? So that pops them out a little bit more. Um, give them a good dry. I really, I think, um, I don't really know why I put those there, but I quite look how, like how it looks. And sometimes, you know, your art journal is a really great place just to try things out. Things that you maybe wouldn't have thought of doing. 
uh, before and just to think, well, what would happen if, what will happen if I do this? What will happen if I put those um, stencils in front of the things that I've already put on my page? Will it work? How will it look? Um, and I think, you know, why not try these things out? So then I added a quote from one of Dina's stamp, uh, stamp sets and some splatters. And there we go. That's the finished page. Really simple using one stencil. In fact, no, sorry, two stencils. So thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I will see you again soon.